I failed again. I'm currently in my fourth year of college and trying to find a job. My name is Hiroki Inamori, and I have lost count of how many times I failed at my job interviews. I have one more company. If I fail here, I'm going to be a graduate with, with no job. I was completely at a loss for work, but I was banking on the last company. And then, that same day... <laughs> Where is Mommy? For some reason, I came across the lost little girl. Gonna be late. I have an interview in 30 minutes. Hey, Missy, what's wrong? Where's your mommy? Oh, she must be scared. I'm okay. You can trust me. I want to help you. Mommy! Wait, hang on! This weird guy is talking to me. Please don't say that. Oh, no, I was just trying to help this little girl. She's lost. Damn it, what do I do? Ah, I'll do what I saw on manga once. Do you like cats? Uh, uh, kitty! You like cats? Yeah, I love cats. Good, she finally calmed down. Can you tell me your name? Uh, Nachan. It's Nachan. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it to the interview. I called the company that I was supposed to have an interview with and let them know that I wouldn't make it. It couldn't be helped. I had to help this girl in trouble. So, where did you split up with your mother? Huh? I don't have mommy. Yeah, where did you lose mommy? I think the store. Why is she out all alone? Maybe she's still there? Hmm. I followed someone that I thought was mommy, but it wasn't mommy. Ah, I guess they were wearing similar clothes. Then you noticed that it wasn't your mom and you were lost. But why didn't you just go back to the store? <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't know which store it was. I see. I looked around for some department stores and the first store I went to was exactly the one I was looking for. I took her to the help desk and they made an announcement. The mother showed up real quick. Apparently, she was looking for her daughter. She didn't ask for an announcement because she figured that it wouldn't make the girl come to the help desk. Plus, she didn't want to draw attention to a little girl who happened to be lost. I'm sorry. I don't know how I can ever thank you enough. Oh, it wasn't a big deal, really. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I just didn't make it to my very important interview. I don't know what I'm going to say to my parents. I have to thank you. Uh, wait... Didn't I meet you about four years ago? Huh? Remember four years ago when I was struggling on the sidewalk? Oh, you're that same pregnant lady! Yeah, that was when I was a senior in high school. I was working towards my college entrance exams and I saw a woman that was acting like she was struggling on the side of the road. She said that she was going through labor, so I called an ambulance and helped her out. I didn't know that was you. Yeah, <laughs> imagine the coincidence. Hey! What are you two talking about? This young man helped you and I. Really? He's so cool. <laughs> I just helped out a little bit. You're a hero. What? Why? Because you saved our lives. That makes you a hero. <laughs> You're so young and cute. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. Again. Oh, it was just luck. <laughs> but you saved us nonetheless. Oh, sorry, I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Asuka Tazuka. This is my daughter, Natsumi. I'm Nachan! We call her Nachan ever since she was born. Then she started calling herself Nachan. <laughs> oh, here, take my business card too. Wow, you have a business card too. The, the CEO of Canon Limited? <laughs> yeah. You might be surprised that I'm a CEO of a big company at this age. No, I'm more surprised because I was just about to go to my final interview this afternoon. Hmm? What happened? 
Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> I don't want to make her worried about it. I see. Oh, can you tell me your name? Oh, I'm Hiroki Inamori. Mr. Inamori, nice to meet you. Do you have any plans? Oh, um, kind of. I have to at least show up at the company. I see. Well, then let me show you my gratitude another day. <laughs> you really don't have to worry about it. I'll be going now. Sure. Thank you again. Thank you! Let's play again! Ha <laughs> ha! Bye-bye! I went to the company that was interviewing me, but... I'm sorry. I can't give you special treatment, so... Since I couldn't prove that I wasn't making up the story, I was unable to interview. I might have been able to pull it off if I spoke to the CEO, but I don't want her to think that I was upset by anything. I'll just go home if I can't find a job. Then the next day... Huh? Miss Tozaka? Hello, Mr. Inamori. Can I come inside? Sure, come on in. She didn't actually come to repay me already, did she? I thought you had already left for school, but I'm glad to have caught you in time. I actually don't have class today. Did you come here from work? Yeah. I had something that I wanted to speak to you about. Do you have a moment? Sure. How do you know where I live? Well, I looked at this. Oh, my resume. You can imagine the look on my face when I saw this on my desk. I heard that there was an interviewee that didn't show up, and when I looked, it was you. What a coincidence. Seriously. <laughs> Yesterday, you were planning on interviewing with us, correct? Yes, ma'am. Why didn't you say something to me? You saved my daughter when she was lost, and I could have vouched for you. More than anything, I'm the CEO, so I would have made sure you got your interview. Um, I really didn't want you to think that I was doing anything for something in return. I kind of helped on my own will. You know, you're nice, but kind of dumb. I'm the one that's causing trouble for you, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Besides, I'm assuming if you're still interviewing this late into the recruitment season, you're probably having some trouble, no? I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's not really something you should laugh about. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I didn't come here to complain or lecture you. It looks like you were able to get to the final interview at our company. I'm here to scout you. Huh? When I looked at your resume, I saw it was you. And knowing that I was the reason you couldn't make it, I had to fix this. But what about the time? I know what kind of person you are, so it's no problem. However, I won't be able to have you work in sales like you had hoped for. Oh? Where would I be working? Well, I was hoping that I would have you work in sales on my way here, but I was worried because of how good of a person you are. W what do you mean? Simply put, I'm worried someone will trick you. I... I see. How about working as my secretary? S secretary I have no experience in that! It's okay, as long as you learn on the job. I want someone who I can trust, right? I, I see. I'm just happy if I can work. Great! Then I'll put in the word to get the paperwork started. I'll contact you again on a later date. She went home after our little interview. She is the CEO after all. I'm sure she's busy. She took time out of her busy day to come talk to me. I have nothing but gratitude for her. A few days later, I filled out the paperwork to officially sign up for the position, and I was set to start working as soon as I graduated. Hey, let's play! I heard my doorbell and Nachan was there. Hey, Nachan, you say hello first. Hello, Mr. Inamori. Hello! Hello! How can I help you? I'm sorry. She just wouldn't stop saying she wanted to play with you. You won't come out at all, so I came to you! I'm sorry. I didn't know that she was serious about hanging out. Come on in! Thank you. What do you say, Nachan? Thank you! 
<laughs> You're welcome. What do you want to do today? I want to play pretend. I'm sorry, I don't have any toys. Oh, I figured this would happen, so I brought some of her toys. Wow, look at the CEO. Well, I guess mom being prepared. That John is the mommy. You're the daddy. Okay, okay. Sure. Mama is the cat. Okay, okay. Wait, the cat? Yeah, the cat. Not the daughter? Cat. I think you should have a daughter role, don't you think? Okay, okay. Don't be so upset. She really likes cats. Afterwards, I played tea time with Nachan. Generally, she only interacted with me. Then sometimes, she would talk to the cat, but... Meow, meow. She would get mad if Miss Tozaka wasn't completely a cat, so she was embarrassed, but she did it. It was somehow cute. Calm down. She's buried. Huh? Your heart hurts, Daddy? Oh, I'm okay, Mommy. I'm okay. I could feel my heart beating out of my chest playing pretend. After I graduated, I started to work for Miss Tozaka, but they always came over to play. She should have a husband. Does he not care? I don't mind, though, because we weren't doing anything weird. Maybe it was okay. I'm just playing with Nachan. I guess she's tired. Miss Asuka is an incredibly attractive woman, and I could feel myself being drawn to her. Yeah, it would seem so. Thank you for always playing with her. She seems to be having fun recently. I'm really happy. Really? Yeah. She was always a little sad, but... Hmm? Why was that? Well, she doesn't have a father. Huh? He ran away when I was pregnant with her. What? Seriously? Yeah. So she's been growing up not knowing the face of her father. So I figured she looks at you as a father figure. Me as the father figure? I have something I want to ask you. Will you hear me out? Something you wanted to ask me? Yes. Will you be her father? Ah, uh, I see. What? Me the dad? You mean... Yes. Please marry me. Seriously? Yes. You're okay with that? I understand for Nachan, but marrying me? I'm not saying it just for her. I've seen you as a person, so... You know, I just like you personally, too. You're always so kind to us, and you always work so hard at work. I fell for how good of a person you are. I'm surprised that you see me that way. I mean, to be honest with you, I've been interested in you as well. R really? Yes. You're incredibly beautiful, and watching you be a great mother towards Nachan, I just kept falling for you. So I felt bad for your husband, but I'm glad you confessed to me. So your answer is... Of course, I'd love to. Yes. Let's go out, Mr. Hiroki. And that's how we started dating. You're going to be my daddy? After talking to Miss Asuka, Nachan came clinging onto my leg, knowing that I would be moving to her house. Yeah, I hope you're okay with that. I'm happy. I'm going to call you Daddy from now on. Apparently, Miss Asuka was right. She did see me as a father. Hey, Daddy? Yeah? I gotta get used to her calling me Dad. Pick me up. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's never asked to be picked up before. Maybe it's because I'm her father now? Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> she's totally your little girl now. You happy, Nachan? Yeah! I've made dinner. Let's go eat. Thank you. Oh, you don't have to be so formal. We're getting married, so... Oh, yes, ma'am. I, I mean, uh... <laughs> Let's just slowly adapt. Yes, ma'am. I mean, yeah, let's. Yeah, Mommy and Daddy are getting along. I'm glad. Oh, come on, Nachan. We put in the paperwork and officially became husband and wife. I look after Nachan like she's my own, and I work supporting Asuka while studying accounting. One year later, we were able to have another life. We're going to start a family of four, but that's...
that's a story for another day. Right now, we are going to celebrate life with my family. <laughs>